Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel for part number 32 of The Sims 3 Supernatural. And right now we have Sabella over here and she is talking with her grandmother and she's also chatting with her mother as well. And so this is the main thing that I wanted to have happen in the last part. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, we were having so many issues whenever I tried to have them meet for the first time and just have a simple conversation. But finally, it is happening. And so, yeah, she's just, like I said, chatting with her grandmother, Sarah, and I am just so, so happy that she's finally getting to talk to her and everything. And as you can see, I did go ahead and give Rosalie her little makeover for her pregnancy, and so I think she looks a lot better than she did in the last part. And it looks like Gregory was paid $90 for his personal time off, but I do think that we are probably going to go ahead and have him leave his job at the bookstore to kind of pursue something a little bit more I guess stable I guess you can say and so right now um, right now, Rosalie is just acting, asking Sarah about her degree, and then she's obviously going to come over and announce her pregnancy. No, 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 no. Are you serious? You're seriously trying to leave again? Like, seriously, Sarah. Look at Rosalie's face. She's just like, you're seriously doing this again? Like, oh my gosh. Can I not, though? Like, can I not? Is she going home? Okay, well, now I feel like I can finally, like, follow her home and actually figure out where this, this chick lives because she moved, which was just so so, you know, weird to me. Like, she moved from the house that she's been living in, in, like, like, for so long, and I, I just, I just don't even know. So, I guess she's gonna come over and she's gonna grab herself some waffles. Unfortunately, Sabella didn't get to chat to her a whole lot, but, you know, at least she did get to talk to her, so I guess that's good. I was gonna send them all out for a bit of a movie or maybe something to eat, like go out and grab some dinner or something. I think that would have been quite fun, but Sarah is deciding to ruin everything once again. <laughs> and so... Um, yeah, in the last part, we pretty much had Gregory and Tristan just, like, elope. Like, they went on a little bit of a date together. They went over to the, um, over to the, what? Just became friends with a celebrity. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, like, trying to follow Sarah so that I don't lose her and everything. But they went out on a date. They went over and they visited the Vault of Antiquity, which was the place that they very first got together and expressed their feelings for one another. And so it just kind of seemed, you know, normal or, like, expected, I guess you can say, that they would go to the same exact place to, I guess, get engaged, I guess you can say. And not only did they get engaged, but they also also got eloped and so they are now officially together they are married they are happily married and I just couldn't be proud like I just couldn't be happier for them and so we're experiencing a little bit of lag as you can probably tell just because like all the lots are trying to load in so this is where you live now huh this house right here is where you live now okay so yeah, I guess she she decided to move to this house right over here. So where where is this exactly? Oh, geez. Oh, my goodness. Midnight, you're having your freaking birthday, of course. Like, everybody, everybody is just, like, ruining, like, ruining the moment, taking it for themselves and everything. Now I don't know where her freaking house is. Oh, my God. Midnight, midnight. You, you're ruining me. Okay. Like, where was it, though? Where was her house? Oh, my God. I missed it. Is this it? Is this her house? This is her house, right? No, like, I don't even know where her freaking house is anymore. I give up. Like, I seriously, I just give up. I give up. Okay, so Midnight is finally having his birthday. He's turning into an old freaking fart. Oh my gosh, Lilith is, like, celebrating with him and everything. Oh my goodness. He has gray on his face and everything. Oh, Midnight. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're so cute. I love you so much. He's an old man. Oh no. And then she wants to take it easy at work. Okay, we can have you do that. <laughs> and then buy an easel. I guess we can do that. And buy a painting. I guess we can do that too. Like, why not? <laughs> okay, so... One of the things that I wanted to do in this part, because you guys have been telling me that, oh my goodness, what's wrong with your hair, honey? <laughs> Let's get you to change your outfit into your everyday really quickly, just to kind of get out of your work uniform. But yeah, you guys have been telling me in the comments, because in the last part, not only did we get Tristan and Gregory married, but in the last part, Eleanor was kind of getting a little flirty with Mr. Aiden over here. 
And you guys have been telling me that you think it would be a little bit weird if her and Aiden were to try and pursue a relationship together just because their kids are married to one another. And while I do understand that that is kind of weird, there is absolutely no relation between the two of them, if you know what I'm saying. Like, okay, so Eleanor would be Tristan's mother-in-law and Aiden would be Gregory's father-in-law but between Eleanor and Aiden there's absolutely nothing tying them together and that is exactly why they can still be romantic with one another and like okay the bottom line at the end of the day I really do want Eleanor to be happy with somebody it's been so long since her and Vincent have gotten divorced it's been so long since she's been with anybody since she's had anybody to like be in a relationship with and ever since like ever since before she can even remember Aiden has been there for her and he's always been there for her he's always going to be there for her and like now that she's back in Moonlight Falls and she's able to actually like pursue an active relationship with this guy once again I kind of feel like she's in the point in her life where she she's willing to try and make a relationship with him work if he's trying or if he's willing to make it work if you know what i'm saying so i think you know we're just gonna play it a little cool tonight and we are going we are gonna form a bit of a group with him because eleanor is feeling a little she's feeling a little restless right now she kind of wants to see if he would like to go out not on a date but just like hang out with one another and she's gonna see if he wants to go out with her to the bar and so he it looks like he said yes and she doesn't want to go on a date with him so i guess i could have asked them on a date or him on a date rather and she also wants to hunt for whatever reason find some seeds and then she wants to pillow fight with a sim of course and then aiden we're gonna get you to change your outfit into your everyday wear because I'm fairly certain that's not it. And so, yeah, hopefully somebody is over at the bar because I kind of very quickly made over the toadstool like I added in an actual professional bar just so that we can, you know, have drinks and everything. So that's where we are going to go. And it looks like, oh my goodness, you guys, there's a unicorn over here. That's so cool. Okay, so we are going to visit the toadstool with the group and I'm going to zoom in on this freaking unicorn. Like, oh my goodness, you're so pretty. Oh my gosh, you're so majestic. Like, I want you to be my friend. Like, I really do. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm like getting so worked up over a freaking unicorn, but like, I never really see them a whole lot in my game, as weird as that is. Oh, for a second there, I thought there was another one, but no, that's an actual wild horse. This is Midnight Horse. Ooh. Oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. And it looks like there's a little gem thingy over here. Okay, so he's getting pretty thirsty. He needs something to drink. He also needs to go to the bathroom. He needs to take a bit of a shower. Like, I took these guys out at the worst possible moment. <laughs> but I'm just gonna, you know... I don't even care. This isn't a challenge whatsoever. I'm just going to bump up their needs. Same with Eleanor. I'm going to bump up her energy and I'm also going to bump up her hygiene. So there we go. But it looks like we are over here at the toadstool now. And unfortunately, it looks like there's nobody here at the bar. So that's freaking fabulous. <laughs> that is fabulous. I didn't know that, you know, I hadn't... I guess, given them enough time. So that's a bit unfortunate, but we're going to come over and we're just going to chat with him a little bit. We're going to be friendly and we are going to, what should we do? We should whine about life. Yeah, that that's a good way to send him running. Let's show off our teeth. Let's see what he has going on for himself. He's like so handsome though. I really think that they would do quite nicely together. And I'm not saying that they're going to like have babies or anything. I honestly think that Eleanor is like done with having babies to be honest with you. But like... I, oh goodness, honey, what's wrong with your hair? Your weave got snatched. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so, oh god, that hair. <laughs> you don't even have fangs. Like, where are they? Are they those, like, retractable fangs like you see on the actual Supernatural show? Because, like, I can dig that. <laughs> oh 
Oh my gosh, that hair glitch though. Okay, but they, they're like showing each other their teeth. Maybe we can come over and have Aiden like grab himself a drink. So let's have him have a quick meal of some plasma juice just to kind of get that all taken care of. And I'm going to bump up his energy a little bit as well. Okay, so I guess there's still like the quick bar upstairs in this little area right here. So I guess we could still grab some drinks. Um, what? 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 Monday at 10... 29 p.m. Hopefully the office can cope without Vincent McGashton for another hour as he appears to be in no rush to get there. Oh, geez. <laughs> okay. Um, so apparently things are going down with Vincent. He's like being an utter lazy butt like he normally is. Uh, I'm happy to hang out. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Possum. All right. So I'm going to have her make some quick drinks not just have a quick drink so that aiden can have one as well and we are going to hopefully get this party started so who's this bill misfit okay <laughs> um oh my goodness he's coming up here to sit with me how cool wait what are you doing mix make quick drinks please please thank you all right but yeah he's coming up here to sit with me and everything how adorable but yeah please tell me what you guys think like honest opinions tell me what you guys think what are you doing no you're not gonna watch like why are you why are you being so damn difficult eleanor like make some damn drinks please please that's all i ask of you and then you no you're not gonna do that either you're gonna drink your plasma you're gonna drink your plasma fruits and where is this freaking guy playing like could you just stop like take a break from playing please <laughs> thank you there we go now we can actually have some drinks okay so eleanor let's have you drink a quick drink there we go like it's nothing fancy or anything but it's it's gonna have to do so all right let's come over and let's be special we can be a little bit of a hopeless romantic and let's see if he responds well to you know having us flirt with him a little bit oh my gosh but yeah tell me like honestly and truthfully drink promotion order a drink at red velvet lounge celebrity points well how are we gonna do that if there's nowhere to even you know order because I haven't made that place over yet. But you know what? We'll accept it and I will have to just remember to make over the Red Velvet Lounge. Um, but yeah, like completely ignoring the fact that that Gregory and Tristan are married. Like, tell me if you would genuinely like to see these two together because I really would. I want Eleanor to be happy. That's all I want out of life for her. And I really do think that Aiden would be able to make her happy. I really, really do. I love them together. Where did he even go? Like, I don't know. <laughs> We're having a few glitches and everything. I don't know where he's going. It's already 12 a.m. Holy crap. And it looks like leisure day is approaching. Happy hour is over. Well, well, that's nice to know. <laughs> that's nice to know. Where is he though? Where did he go? Where are you? Oh, you're downstairs. You had to go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> or something. Let's have you go back up here and let's see if they can actually get romantic with one another. Like Eleanor is just taking her quick time or her. Wow. <laughs> Eleanor is taking her sweet friggin' time just drinking this drink. Let's have you go over here and we're going to try this one more time. So let's be um, special, hopeless romantic, and let's try and flirt with him a little bit. What's, what's your deal? Oh, she's a tourist. Okay. Apparently he's like not too happy about her being up here. So, oh, see, look at that. He like responded so perfectly to her advances and everything. Like that just even more shows me that they are like perfect for one another. Uh, let's give him some romantic red flowers as well. And it looks like they are now on a date. And I was just about to say like, oh my God, are you serious? It's closing time. No, like I don't want to go yet. <laughs> like I really don't want to go yet. So maybe instead of staying here at the Toadstool, because this place was like a total bust anyway, maybe we can send them over here. Like, do you guys remember like throwback do you remember when rosalie and ryan were like right here getting their like you know getting their romance on and everything that was like so long ago oh my gosh um let's have them come over to the fairy gardens and just like have some nice alone time oh and it looks like somebody over here is having a nice little picnic another little tourist that's cute all right, but I love this place, honestly. Like, I know, like, it just now dawned on me that I haven't really been, 
utilizing a whole lot out of the <laughs> out of the supernatural expansion pack. This is supposed to be a supernatural let's play, and all I've done is play around with <laughs> with vampires. But like in my defense, I did try to add in werewolves, and it just didn't happen. <laughs> it really didn't. So it looks like we're over here now. And we decided to enjoy the great outdoors. Of course we did. All righty. So it looks like we are here and now we can get all sorts of romantic with this guy. Maybe we can have them watch the stars together. That would be super cute. Um, let's compliment his personality. And then let's also go ahead. We're going to wink at him. Totally. We're just going to, we're just going to butter him up and let's see if we could have them ask to watch the stars. There we go. Aww. Oh, I, I really do like them together in case that isn't in case that isn't obvious already. Oh, he's like he's like all sorts of smitten and everything. Like what's that word? Twitter pated from Bambi. He's like totally Twitter pated. <laughs> uh, learn mixology skills. She wants to have a great group outing, play video games. Okay, what does he want to do? He wants to give a gift to Eleanor. Of course he does. Okay, so we're gonna lock that in. And he also wants to watch a movie and he wants to date her. Okay, you guys, if it isn't even like, is, if it isn't already perfect, like, I, I don't know what else to tell you. He wants to date her. He loves her so much. Oh my gosh. All right, so there, aw. I hope the sky is, I hope the sky is actually pretty this time because the last time, well, when we were with Rosalie and Ryan in China, the sky wasn't exactly, <laughs> wasn't exactly super pretty or anything. So I'm just hoping that it is this time and it's freaking gray of course <laughs> of course what else would you expect from from moonlight falls though honestly so they're getting all sorts of cuddly with each other oh how cute i think a kiss is in order I really, really do. So let's get him to be the one to make the first move. And we are going to do a heat of the moment kiss after they get done watching the stars. And we're just going to see how well she, how well she reacts to it. So hopefully she doesn't push him away or anything because that would be just my luck. <laughs> but now he has all these good moodlets. He has the romance under the stars. He received flowers. He's flattered and everything. I mean, this date that wasn't supposed to be a date is going pretty nicely, but she is feeling tired. So that also could play a bit of a, a factor in the whole thing. So, oh, Eleanor quit being overdramatic. Okay. Like just, just stop it. Okay. So moment of truth, you guys, does she take the bait or does she push him away? Oh, she took it. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously going to have to change her hair though, because that glitch of the back of her head is like totally messing with me every single time. Are you, what? How does she have a cheater reputation? Like really though, how does she have the cheater reputation? She's not in a romantic relationship with anybody else. Like that is completely ridiculous. How, like, oh my gosh, just shut up game. Just shut up. You're getting on my last nerve. What? Looks like Vincent McAshton and Fiona Goodfellow have been getting all hot and heavy for each other recently, moving the relationship to a new level. You're in a relationship with an old hag. <laughs> Are you joking me? He is in a relationship with this? <laughs> Vincent, Vincent. I mean, she's cute. She's adorable. But like, when? When did you stoop? Where are you, Vincent? Like, seriously, though, he's driving. Like, I don't know where the hell he's going with his life. Like, see, Vincent is somewhere around the world. He's just... He's just being all sneaky sneaky and doing whatever he wants, apparently, with whoever he wants in the world, apparently. <laughs> Okay, so that's kind of awkward. But anyways, you guys, let me see how much time I have left because I haven't really been paying attention. Okay, we have like five minutes left. So I think this date has just been going oh so perfectly that we are going to send these two home. Well, we're going to send them back over here. Actually, can they woohoo in the fairy thing? Like, because if they can, no, they can't. Okay awkward <laughs> um is there a place like don't isn't there like a little like a llama thing on this lot somewhere that they can like i think you can do that in there right i don't know like is there even an option like i'm just 
I'm just curious. Is there anywhere that they could woohoo with each other? Um, no, but we are going to have her gaze into his eyes. Like, that's just adorable. Um, all right. So let's be romantic and let's do a flirtatious joke. I still don't understand how she has the cheater reputation. Like, what? 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 Okay. For a second there, I thought that was Vincent. I was like, no, Vincent is not her child. But like, really though, she's not romantically involved with anybody. And yet... It like, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> like, I'm just curious. Like, yeah, they're like acquaintances. They're not even together. So that's just weird to me. So yeah, like I was saying, I'm just having like a bit of a mental breakdown over here. I'm going to send these two home. Hopefully everybody is already in bed fast asleep as they should be. And we are going to send them home. So we're going to have them go here with the date. And let's just double check here. So Ryan is sleeping. Rosalie is sleeping. Gregory. What? Gregory. Why are you not up here with your husband? Come up here and you're going to sleep up here in your bed. <laughs> like, thank you. Tristan's asleep. Emily is sleeping down there. Lilith is sleeping. He's eating. And then Sabella is fast asleep as well. Okay, so everybody pretty much took care of themselves. Oh, look at her. She's like all flopping all over the place. <laughs> all right, but let's go ahead and follow these two back home. And I do think, wait, aren't you going home? Like, what? what is the deal? What is the deal? I don't understand. Eleanor like flat out left you. <laughs> She's already over here. She's like, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, we're just gonna have him head on home. And hopefully their date like doesn't get broken up or anything. That would be kind of awkward. What? No, we're not we're not even gonna entertain that idea. That's like that still creeps me out. Like seriously, I might have to intervene on that because that's just that is not part of the storyline, okay? <laughs> Like, it's just not. It's not. All right. So she made it home okay. Hopefully, uh, Aiden is on his way. Yeah, he got here pretty quickly. So that's good. All righty. So Eleanor just... No, not you. Eleanor, just stop. Just stop walking. Just come over here. Meet Aiden at the front door. Like, <laughs> this is just so weird. All right. So they just came home in two different cars, as you do on a date, right? And what are you doing? What are you doing, Cerberus? Oh, he's greeting her. Oh, no, you're not going to pee in the house, are you? Oh, my God. Aiden is going to kick your behind. You're ruining the hardwood. <laughs> this poor dog. Oh, my gosh. Eleanor, come over here. As much as I really don't want to, we do have to care for him. Apparently, we can't. Like, why? No, you're not going to sleep. That's not what you're doing. Let's come over. Reinforcement. Scold for being a piggy. Even though it's really not his fault because he can't even get out of the house yet. Like, he... Well, he can. He could have went on the porch, but, like, he just didn't. So... I guess he does need to be punished for it, unfortunately. What's your problem? You're, you seem like so bored. <laughs> so, all right, let's, let's get this party on the party on the road. Let's go ahead and hold her hands. It's like five o'clock in the morning, you guys. These two are like partying like it's 1980 or something. <laughs> uh, let's give her an embrace as well. And then we are going to head on upstairs and we are going to finish off this part with a little woohoo. Hopefully. It's not looking like we even can, but we're going to have to see if we can make this happen. So they're embracing each other. And let's go ahead and give her a bit of a massage as well. We're being super irresistible. Well, extremely irresistible. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and do the woohoo. There we go. All righty. All right, let's just speed on through this here. And I really need to get these two in bed because they are like so tired right now. And poor Bone Hilda is seriously like working herself to the bone. No pun intended. <laughs> because she's like doing all this kind of stuff. But at least Gregory's not having a heart attack every time he freaking sees her this time. That's good. Oh my God, are you serious? The carpool for Aiden is going to come in about an hour. Oh geez, you're going to have a bad day at work, hon. <laughs> you really are. And everybody's starting to wake up and everything like what are you doing oh my god Tristan okay so he's gonna he's gonna go take himself a bath he's not coming in here I was about to say you're gonna be scarred for life if you decide to come in here um oh and he has this little just married thing that's cute all right so here they go guys here they go finally after like 
after like hours after it was actually supposed to happen. So let me go ahead and grab a quick little creepy picture here because like that's just what I do. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let them, I'm gonna let them go after it. All right, you two, you two do you have fun. <laughs> Alrighty, so let me go ahead and check on everybody else. So he's just now getting up. He needs to come downstairs and he needs to make some, make some sort of breakfast. So let's have him serve some breakfast and do some pancakes. What is this? We have some green salad. I guess that can go back in the refrigerator because like why let it go bad? And then Rosalie is on the computer. We have Gregory who is still asleep. Tristan needs to grab himself something to eat. So have a quick meal of some plasma orange juice after you get done. What about Emily? Her as well. So have a quick meal of some plasma orange juice. Lilith, you're taking a bath. Okay, so everybody's like taking care of themselves pretty much. Alrighty, guys. So anyways, are you serious? It's Cerberus's birthday tomorrow? Oh my gosh. And he needs some destruction. Like seriously. Um, you need to come. Are you serious? Bone Hilda. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she puts everything away. Let's go and bring this back out here so that he can actually get his destruction under control. Go ahead and chew on that. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. So I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Please don't forget to go ahead and leave me your comments down below telling me what you thought. Also, go ahead and give me a big fat thumbs up if you did enjoy the video and if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well and I will talk to you guys in my very very next video. Alright bye guys.